Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. So let me tell you a little bit about what's going on with me. Those of you that get my personal newsletter, The Random at JoePolizzi.com, know that our family has been dealing with some stuff lately, like a lot of families. We just lost a close member of our family. And at the same time, I've been busier with work stuff than ever. For example, just this week, we will be flying from Raleigh to Minneapolis to Atlanta to New Orleans in four days. Uh, Half of this is work and half of this is personal. And at the same time, I'm typing this after just driving four hours back from seeing family in Cincinnati. Tomorrow morning, we leave first thing in the morning on another flight. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining here. These are all first world issues. Most of this is really good stuff. I'm just sharing my peace of mind. Those of you that know me know that I am not a great multitasker. And that's bolded. That that whole last statement that I just gave you, I'm not a great multitasker. You can bold that, italicize it. You can shine lights on it. I mean, that's the thing. Now, first thing I do after the drive is I get into email. I see an Amazon purchase that just doesn't look right. I cancel it right away. I thought it was fraud. We've had some fraud issues going on. I've had somebody on Instagram that's been frauding me for a while. I can't stand that guy. So anyways, I see this Amazon thing. I'm thinking fraud and realize... A little bit later, like right after I click cancel on it, it was an iPad purchase for our foundation, Orange Effect Foundation. And I'm like, crap, my wife is going to kill me on this one. So I have to go downstairs and tell her that I just made a big mistake. All right, there's that. And then also I realized upon getting back from the trip, I forgot to check the sponsorship chart for Content Inc. Thus, yesterday's episode of Content Inc. came out. It was supposed to be promoting this amazing podcast event this Friday from Ecamm. It's called Ecamm Live. This is Ecamm's annual event, Leap Into Podcasting, September 29th and 30th. This two-day summit covers all aspects of video podcasting from getting started to software, hardware, workflows, ads, so much more. It's completely free. So do me a favor and sign up now at ecam.tv slash tilt. That's E-C-A-M-M dot TV slash tilt, T-I-L-T. And uh, so what I just did there is called a make good in the industry because I didn't do it yesterday. So I did it today on this special episode. But then I can't just do an episode that vents about my multitasking problems and promotes an event. So the good news is I was actually thinking about podcasting on the drive back from Cincinnati to Cleveland. This is the life I lead, folks. I obsess about these things. So I'm obsessing about audio and podcasting. Now, one of the reasons is Spotify's move into audiobooks, which was announced last week. This is big for content creators. Amazon's Audible has pretty much cornered the audiobook space for many years. So the Spotify competition should be really, really good for creators. This is what I believe is just the start of an audio renaissance over the next 12, 18, 24 months. If you go back a few years with the rise of the streaming platforms, Netflix, Hulu, Disney, HBO, and more, they all spent billions on, and billions with a B, on video content and storytelling. Now, right now, with the recession, it's fading a little bit. We've seen a number of outlets say that spending is going to curtail quite a bit. But I don't believe that's true for podcasting. After the big deals like Joe Rogan and more recently the gang at Smartless, I think you're going to see quite a bit of money go into content networks of all kinds. These are the streaming networks, but also corporate networks and social networks, both creating and buying podcasts. Even I've been approached a few times in the last month about joining different networks, and some of these offers are getting quite tempting. Also, there's a growing amount of sponsorship money going on in this area. Yesterday, I talked about the launch of our 10K Creator Podcast, which will debut tomorrow. It took us literally less than a week to sell out the sponsorships for that show, and we didn't sell them extremely cheap. I mean, it was a good price. And this podcast, Content Inc., is still relatively niche. We get about 20,000 downloads a month on this stream. Nothing crazy. So there's something here. 
Now, in the current age of video content discovery, TikTok and Instagram, I'm putting my money on two things right now as a creator, podcasting and newsletters, old school stuff, you might say. Now, I've always said podcasting is the one platform in the creator's toolkit where people listening and engaging in your content can actually multitask. So it's especially great for targeting a business crowd, and it seems that most of my audience that listens to this podcast is from that business-to-business area. I still believe that you can build your platform anywhere that makes sense. Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, all those rented land choices. But at some point, you have to move that audience to something you can control. And if not, you're at the whim of those other platforms. With podcasting, you still get a good amount of control on the distribution. Is it harder to market? Absolutely. It's much harder. Content partnerships are a must for podcasts to work. But there is just too much positive momentum in audio not to see this thing really starting to take off, even after 20 plus years of podcasting. Just something to think about as you continue to grow your content business. So hopefully I provided a little bit of value in this special episode. And tomorrow you'll see the first episode of the 10K Creator Podcast show up in this feed. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Thanks.